I'm going to show you how to prepare and fry a flat fish. The two fish I'm working with today are a lemon sole. Lemon soles identified by the lemon shape of the body, but also a little bit of yellow piping or a little strip of yellow uh, which runs around by the side of the gill. The other flat fish we have here is a place identified by its large orange spots. For the freshness of this fish, um, it wants to have a little bit of give in the body and again, a really pleasant um, aroma of the sea. For the preparation, what we're going to do is actually fillet the fish and the best way to do that is to take a sharp filleting knife, turn the fish towards you and then using or cutting close into the back of the head, I'm going to mark making sure that I don't cut too much into the flesh. Having marked with my knife, I'm then going to use scissors just to cut the head off. A fishmonger would just use the knife to continue this, but to be on the safe side, scissors um, is a better option. Having done that, if you wanted to cook this fish whole, you'd need to clean it out a little bit. You'd need to remove the bloodline, which is in this part of the fish where my finger is, and you'd also need to trim away these fins. A little bit of seasoning and you can just cook the fish as it is. I'm going to show you the method that a chef would use to fillet the fish. A fishmonger would use a slightly different technique. We want to take four fillets off this fish and to do so I'm going to make an incision using the whole length of the blade right the way down the centre of the fish until I actually come into contact with bone. I'm going to make a little mark towards the tail end of the fish to give me a point of exit. Running my finger along the inside of the bone I can feel a little ridge of backbone in there and that's where I'm going to actually lie and rest my knife and taking the tip of the knife I'm going to just gradually draw it down the middle, listening for that pinging of the bone. I'm going to do that once, and then a second time, and then using a long sweeping action, I'm going to stroke the fillet away from the bone. Stroking right to the edge, put the knife down, and pull the fillet away. But that is fillet number one. I'm then going to turn the fish this way round and again getting the tip of the knife over the backbone so you're resting it on that little ridge of bones and then dragging it down and this way you keep really really close to the actual bone and not leave too much flesh behind. Then a long sweeping action again always avoid doing small cutting actions long sweep so you end up with a nice clean cut and when you get to that stage, if you're concerned about cutting yourself, turn the fish away from you and point of the knife and sweep that around right to the edge to take the fillet away. That gives you two fillets. You then would fit, turn the fish over to the second side or the white side, exactly the same as before, using the whole length of the blade, make an incision straight away through to the bone and then exactly as before, leaning the fish down or leading the knife down and stroking the fish fillet away using that long sweeping action. And that's how you would fillet your fish. Again, a little bit of row there that I'm going to discard. The second side as before. Uh, having filleted the fish, I'm then going to turn my attentions to the skinning. We're going to start with the fish fillet so that you have the thinnest part of the fillet towards you and you skin the fish so that you actually have the skin side in contact with the board. Using the knife, I'm going to start at the thin end of the fillet and carefully cutting away and getting the good angle with your knife so that you're keeping really close to the skin. You can practically feel the knife squeaking against the skin as you lift the, the, the fillet away. You need to have a good contact with a knife and then pull the skin towards you. So you have a, an action with pulling towards you and cutting away with the knife. Keeping good contact with the skin, peel that away. The skin can go into stock if you want that later. Um, a well skinned piece of fish should have a nice gloss and shine on the actual fish fillet. And these little bits of trimming we could pull away and use those in stock as well. And again, exactly the same process with the other four fillets. Moving on from the actual filleting and skinning of the fish, I'm now going to move on to the pan frying. I have in here four lemon sole fillets that were actually prepared and skinned a little bit earlier on. 
And what I'm going to do with those is roll them in seasoned flour. We have salt and pepper in here, so it wants to be nicely seasoned, and the flour is going to give it a really nice, uh, well-seasoned coat. It's important when you're flouring fish that you just do it prior to cooking. Don't put the fish in the flour and then leave it sitting around for any length of time because the fish will actually begin to uh, go a little bit soggy. The other key point with this is that you don't want to stack the fish. So once it's actually floured, just leave it as it is, but don't stack it again. That's more likely to make the fish a little bit soggy. Now for cooking, generally speaking, with this type of fish, it's not going to take very long in the frying pan. So what I want to do with that is get that butter and some oil together so that the butter's actually really hot and foaming and sizzling. As soon as it stops sizzling, it's hot enough to actually cook the fish. Fish goes in and drop that into the pan and it just starts sizzling. And I'm actually dropping the fish in so that the fish that was bone side or fish that was uh, in contact with the bone actually goes into the pan first of all. I'm going to cook that for about 20 seconds on each side and then roll the fish over. That's had about 20 seconds. I'm going to flip, flip the fish over to cook onto the second side. And that flour had just begun to lightly brown. And then a further 20 seconds or so and then I'm going to just add a little bit of lemon juice and some parsley to the pan. We have seasoned flour in there already, so we don't actually need to uh, season it any further. So one fish fill it out. It's lost its translucency and feels nice and firm. So one, two, three, four. And then finally, lemon juice and parsley and then just pour that over the fish to serve. And that's how you fillet, skin and pan fry a flat fry.